in him. Ndani yake. Sabe say part 3. Sema sehemu ya 3. Now we come we 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 we, uh, we do just a scripture here the book of Romans. Romans Romans chapter uh, chapter 8 verse 32. Tusome kitabu cha Warumi sura ya 8 mstari wa 32. Romans 8:32. Warumi 8:32. Let's just do that quickly. Tusome hiyo kwa haraka. That God or he who did not spare his own son but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Basi yeye asiye mwacha mwana wake mwenyewe mm-hmm. bali alimtoa kwa ajili yetu sisi sote mm-hmm. atakosaje kutukirimia na mambo yote pamoja naye So everything that a child of God enjoys Kila kitu ambacho mtoto wa Mungu anafurahia The moment you are You, you you believe or you accept Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Wakati tu unamkubalia Kristo ama unaamini Kristo ni Bwana na mwokozi wako. Everything that one is entitled to enjoy is locked in him. Kila kitu mtu amepangiwa kufurahia kimewekwa ndani yake. You can only enjoy it in him. Unaweza tu ukafurahia ndani yake. So the Father our God Baba wetu Mungu wetu did not spare his own son. Hakumwacha mwana wake wa kipekee. He did not spare. Hakumwacha. But delivered him up for us all. Lakini alimtoa kwa ajili yetu sisi sote. Tell me Jesus is not for a certain tribe. Mwambie Yesu mume zako Yesu sio wa kabila fulani. The Jews thought he was for Jews. Wayahudi walifikiria Yesu ni wa Wayahudi. Little did they know. Lakini hawakujua. But he was for everybody. Kwamba alikuwa wa kila mtu. Ah, so it does matter your background. Haijalishi kule umetoka. It does matter where you are born. Haijalishi kule umezaliwa. Jesus can touch your life. Yesu anaweza guza maisha yako. He came for everybody. Maana alikuja kwa sababu ya kila mtu. You are black or white. Jiwe wewe ni mweusi ama mweupe. Yellow or green. Yellow ama kibanjaro. You are. Yote ulie. In your mkono wako say Jesus. Sema Yesu. Is for us all. Ni wetu sisi wote. The Indians will love him. Waindi watampenda. He will touch their lives. Ataguza maisha yao. The Chinese he will visit them. Wa China atawatembelea. The blacks are there enjoying him. Wa Afrika wanamfurahia. The white are there enjoying him. Wazungu pia wanamfurahia. Regardless of your of your complexion. Bila kujali rangi ya uso wako. God did not spare a son. Mungu hakumwachilia mwana wake. But delivered him up. Lakini alimtoa. For us all. Kwa ajili yetu sisi sote. That's very powerful. Hiyo ni nguvu sana. For us all. Kwa ajili yetu sote. For us all. Alimtoa. For us all. Kwa ajili yetu sote. Kwa ajili yetu sote. For us all. Kwa ajili yetu sote. Kwa ajili yetu sote. Kwa ajili yetu sote. For us all. Kwa ajili yetu sote. Keria barata ya. Hey. Mekiki manata. He delivered him including your cousin. Hata binamu wako. Ah. Is anybody here with a cousin? Uko na cousin? Nana, kuna mtu ako na cousin hapa. Include huyo, huyo, huyo unamjua huyo? Huyo. Huyo. Hata huyo. Huyo. Sema kuso. Ah. Romans 11:36. Now, Warumi 11:36. Let's do this now, then we continue. For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever amen kwa kuwa vitu vyote vyatoka kwake viko katika uweza wake tena vinarejea kwake utukufu una yeye milele amina for of him maana kwake yeye and through him na kupitia yeye and to him na kwake are all things vitu vyote viko kwake be glory for of utukufu ukuwe kwake milele we don't serve a poor jesus atumtumikie yesu masikini all things are locked in him mambo yote yamewekwa ndani yake there afya yako iko pale your children are there watoto wako wako pale your breakthroughs are there upenyo wako uko pale your finances are there fedha zako ziko pale your long life is there maisha yako marefu yako pale your prosperity is there Ufanisi wako uko pale your riches are there utajiri wako uko pale your progress is there usonga kwako mbele kuko pale No wonder. Ndio maana. He and the audacity of telling some folks. Alikuwa na ujasiri akwambia watu. Just seek first the kingdom of heaven. Tafuteni kwanza ufalme wa mbinguni. And his righteousness. Na utakatifu wake. Maraka. And his what? His righteousness. Na utakatifu wake. These things people chase after. Na haya mambo yote watu utafuta. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is to chase things without him. 
Jambo ambayo unaweza fanya ni kutafuta vitu bila yeye. Because you may appear powerful on earth before man. Maana unaezoonekana uko na nguvu mbele za watu. But you spend your eternity in hell. Lakini maisha yako baada ya hapa utakuwa kule kuzimu. Ma, may you be a rich boy but also rich in Christ. Wacha ukue mtu tajiri lakini ukue tajiri ndani ya Kristo. A rich girl. Msichana tajiri. Also in other material. Katika mali ya ulimwengu. But also. Lakini pia. Hey, with the right thing. Ukiona kitu kina style. Lakini sampuri kama ile ya the rich guy and the Lazarus. Lakini mfano kama ya tajiri na Lazaro. Mali zote. Lakini nje anama anasema Lazaro. Razaro, sema Razaro. Actually sema Abraham, sema Abraham. Si utumekeko, si kuna watu wengi hapo kizuri. Si utumekeko Razaro, achobyo kindore kwa maji. Hatulize ai. Sasa, let me tell you. Through boasting it is in Christ. Kujivunia kwa kweli kuko ndani ya Kristo. Ambia mazako kulinga kwa kweli. Kulinga kwa kweli. Ndani ya Yesu. Ndani ya Yesu. Hii kulinga lakini hata Yesu akujui. Ai, bure kabisa. Bure kabisa. Ambia mazako kulinga kwa kweli ni katika Kristo. Kulinga kwa kweli ni katika Kristo. Paul says if Paulo I may boast, I boast because of. Hata nikiringa ninaringa kwa sababu yake. So, Matthew 6:33. Matthew 6:33. This is scripture to prove to people Jesus is not against having material things on earth. Ili niandiko la kudhibitishia kudhibitishia watu Kristo si eti hataki watu wapate mali duniani. Yes. Ndio. No. Hapana. But if I I give people some people an assignment I don't know whether you read. Lakini nilipatia watu kazi hapa ni kama mlisoma. Mathayo 6. Yote. And you realize by the time is coming to verse 33. Utatambua kifika mstari wa 33. He was simply trying to tell them. Alikuwa anajaribu kuambia. First get the real thing. Kwanza upate kitu halisi. Because bwana mgeni unaweza pata vitu na ukuta tu zimekumaliza. Maana unaweza pata vitu na zikumalize. Hata kama zikumalizi hakuna mtu ataishi hapa permanently. Hakuna mtu ataishi hapa milele. Where will you spend your eternity? Maisha yako ya milele uta. So anaambia seek first. Anawaambia tafuteni kwanza. The kingdom of God. Ufalme wa Mungu. And his righteousness. Na utakatifu wake. And all these things. Na hizi vitu vyote. Shall be handed to you. Vitaongezewa kwako. Now in your own time now go and read all these things. You will see clothes, houses, good and people good house you see all these things people hata watu wanalangi wakitafuta hivi vitu ambavyo watu walali wakitafuta in other words if you can get the real thing kama utapata jambo halisi all things are in him mambo yote yako ndani yake that the word all things are in him that you are neighbor tell you are neighbor all things are in him vitu vyote viko ndani yake and that's why i said ndio maana nasema Just things thinking you will be fulfilled you end up getting frustrated Ukitafuta vitu ukifikiria utatosheleka utakatizwa tamaa Because real fulfillment Maana kutosheleka kwa kweli satisfaction in life Na kutosheka katika maisha can never be found in material things Hakuwezi patikana katika mali Ask those you have Uliza wale wako nayo They are still they, they have the more Wanatafuta zaidi My commerce teacher told me Mwalimu wangu wa Komasa aliniambia Human wants mahitaji ya binadamu are never satisfiable. Hayawezi yakatoshelezwa. Nakumbuka hiyo Komasa. Human wants mahitaji ya binadamu. And I said I give an example. Na nilipeana mfano. Mtu ambaye hana gari hapa. Anasema anahitaji tu gari hata kama ni vit kale kadogo. Ili siku utafika pale. Unapatana nyingine na Unapatana nyingine unasema nahitaji kiwango cha juu. Ile siku nitaingia Prado. I mean Prado. Nimeingia ndani niko niko ndani ya Prado. A good one. Ni mzuri. Ba nikipata na Lexus 570. Lakini nikipata na Lexus 570. That is normal. Hiyo ni kawaida. Mwenyako kwa bonda nasema the day nitapata ile bonda iko na iko na keria ya nyuma. Ya 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 ya. 
Ile siku nitapata tuktuk. Ukipata hiyo 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 tukutuku. Ukipata tuktuk. Haya, hey, kapika up kama kale kanatokea. Nikipata pick up sasa. BMW. Mwenye kona hiyo nao Lexus whatever, sio hiyo 40 million, 30 million. Akika hapo anasikia pupupupupupupu. He, kuna jamaa amepita na chopa. Nasa hii. Ile siku nitakuwa na helicopter yangu. Ile siku nitakuwa na ndege yangu mwenyewe. Mbeba zako aya yani hapa hapa duniani watu wafikangi Sa if unatafuta hizi vitu ili uwe satisfied Iwapo unatafuta hizi vitu ili utosheleke And I say they are not bad Anasema si mbaya But lakini The day I build my house. Ile siku nitajenga nyumba yangu. Nilale kwa ngorofa. Nilale kwa gorofa. Nifanye ni, ni curtain hivi nione nione watu wakiwa ground floor. Nifanye pazia hivi nione watu wakiwa kule chini. Usiingizi utakuwa inashikana. Usiingizi utakuwa mnono vizuri. Kama ishikani kwa ground floor. Iwapo ishikani kwa chumba cha chini. You are deceiving yourself. Unajidanganya. Ukiza mwanzao wa ground floor inashika usiingizi. kama ishiki and one of the one of the guys here after that one actually alikuja kana akipapa you are talk you are speaking to our minds nimejenga njushi nilikuwa nafikiria nikijenga everything takwa nidhani nikijenga kila kitu itakuwa ni shwari shwari mbona sako human words mbona sako mahitaji ya binadamu i never Satisfy yet you can't satisfy. Hayawezi akatoshelezwa. But the fullness of Christ. Lakini tena wa Kristo. You may find somebody Uneza who may not have even what we call big things. Anaweza kuwa hana kile watu wanaita so kitu kubwa lakini ametosheka. So fulfilled. Ametosheka. Mwingine kwa ngorofa stress ndio hiyo halali. Mwingine kwa ngorofa lakini halali mawazo. Anaogopa mke aende na mwingine. Anaogopa anyang'anywa mke. Stress nayo. Kuzombwa na mawazo. Aju yako wapi? Aju muke yako wapi? Mwingine wameketi table room the other day. Mwingine wameketi ka table room. This is kuna hizi earphones unaoya kama 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 ngandamia kwa masikio. <laughs> Sasa mzee ameketi pale. Mzee ameketi pale. Ameketi pale. <laughs> My wife akona nazo. <laughs> Sasa unaoya tunakuanga to win na na it was brutus. So mzee yako pale na kasimu kake. Yeah. Usuki piwa simu kama uko nako kwa earphone oh, you can't tell you, you see i mean you can't tell what somebody is saying utasikia tu mtu ameanza kuongea kama pasa kima ki drive wewe unasikia utaona unasikia wale mtu ameanza kuongea aya shiki shiki simu kumbe iko pale so jamaa kaanza kuongea akapigwa simu hey hello 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 babe hello mtu how are you uko namna gani niko kwa hotel niko kwa hotel i'm already naked tayari niko uchi Sema kako hapa. Kako wapi? Kako hapo. Ajui yako kengine kako hapa. <laughs> Muke wake ameketi mahali anakula njaro tu. Muke ameketi. Especially hao wandanda wako na nywele zimefunika huko. <laughs> kako. Hey. Akamwambia babe, babe, babe. Akamwambia mpenzi. There is an emergency in the workplace. Kuna in- Jambo la tarura kwa kazini. I just need to rush there. Nahitaji kukimbia pale. I just for how long you going to be there? Kamuza kwa muda mgani utakuwa pale? Like 10 hours. Kama masaa 10 hivi. The man rose up. Ma, yule mwanaume akainuka. Akisimama hivi akatoa naye. Mandama akatoa kake kwa asika. Okay, please carry you are whatever you. Akienda kuondoka mama akamwambia beba yako. Uliza mwanzako. Okay, ambia mwanzako ukiongea. Kwa difabu kiegida kwa wapi? Mbona sako alichoma life life. Stress ndio hiyo. Mawazo ndio hayo. Sasa kila maana watu wako na vitu wanafurahia wote. Si wote. Mbona sako isipokuwa mimi. Isipokuwa mimi. Uko na mtu faithful shukuru Mungu. Kama uko na mtu mwaminifu shukuru Mungu. 
you know, you can't even know the other either side in grass is better. Kio ndani unaona nyasi pande ile nyingine ni mzuri inapendeza. Number 1. Jambo la kwanza. In him. Ndani yake. We have redemption. Tuko na ukombozi. Deliverance. Ukombozi. Salvation. Wokovu. <laughs> redemption. Ukombozi. Ephesians 1:7. Wa Efeso sura ya kwanza mstari wa 7. Deliver. Tumekombolewa. Colossians 1:13. Wa Kolosai 1:13. Kura pakata ya to verse 14. Hadi mstari wa 14. We have been delivered. Tumekombolewa. In him. Ndani yake. We have already been transformed. Tayari tumeshahamishwa. From the kingdom of Satan. Kutoka katika ufalme wa shetani. To the kingdom of our Lord Jesus. Hadi katika ufalme wa Bwana wetu Yesu. Number 2. Ya pili. In him. Ndani yake. We have to the forgiveness of our sins samaha wa dhambi zetu i'm just doing a recap then we'll close in a minute nafanya marudio kisha tutamalizia while yes we have the forgiveness of our sins tuko na msamaha wa dhambi zetu ephesians 1:7 wa efeso sura ya kwanza mstari wa 7 that be of age sehemu ya pili bible says in him biblia inasema ndani yake everybody shout in him sema ndani yake we have redemption tuko na ukombozi through his blood kupitia damu yake the forgiveness of sins msamaha wa dhambi according to the riches of his grace kulingana na utajiri wa neema yake somebody say riches sema utajiri of his grace. Some shout in him. Sema ndani yake. We are the forgiveness. Tuko na msamaha of our sins. Wadhambi zetu. Number 3. Ya tatu. In him. Ndani yake. In him Christ Jesus. Ndani ya Kristo Yesu. We are being justified. Tumehesabiwa haki. And put in Christ. Yeyote aliye ndani ya Kristo. It is like you have never sinned. Ni kana kwamba hujawahi tena dhambi. You have been made clean. Umetakaswa. You have been Umehesabiwa haki. Romans 5 verse 1. Warumi sura ya 5 mstari wa 1. The Bible says the following. Biblia inasema yafuatayo. Therefore, basi, having been justified. Tukio tumehesabiwa haki. By faith. Na kwa imani. We have peace with the God. Tuko na amani na Mungu. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Kupitia Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Therefore, basi, having been justified. Tukio tumehesabiwa haki. By faith. Kwa imani. We are we are peace with the God. Tuko na amani na Mungu. Through our Lord Jesus. Kupitia Bwana wetu Yesu. Tap your hands shout in justification. Kama sema nimehesabiwa haki. Somebody say I've been justified. Sema nimehesabiwa haki. It is like you are never a sinner. Ni kana kwamba hujawahi tena dhambi. Remember Romans 3:23. Kumbuka Romans sura ya 3 mstari wa 23. When Adam sinned. Wakati Adam alitenda dhambi. Everybody became a sinner. Kila mtu akafanyika mwenye dhambi. Born in a church or wherever. Ukiwa umezaliwa kanisani ama popote pale. Born by a pastor or an apostle. Ukiwa umezaliwa na mchungaji ama mtume. Everybody is born a kila mtu anazaliwa akiwa mwenye dhambi everybody has sinned kila mtu mwenye dhambi but the same romans chapter 5 lakini warumi sura ya 5 verse 17 tarwa 17 to around verse 23 hadi mstari wa 23 it reveals inatuwekea wazi through one man kupitia mtu mmoja sin came dhambi ilikuja but through one man jesus lakini kupitia mtu mmoja righteousness haki justification kuhesabiwa haki has come to man imekuja kwa binadamu atangaza in the name of the Lord. Where's for justification? Neema ya kuhesabiwa haki. Yes, your portion. Ni sehemu yako. Sorry. Hiyo. So you should be able to know this. Unastahili kujua hivi. Christ came for your justification. Kristo alikuja ili uhesabiwe haki. Marakuta teta haya. Number what? Number four. Yanne. We have the righteousness of God. Tuko na haki ama tuko sawa na Mungu. Hey, hey. The righteousness of God became your righteousness. Haki ya Mungu ikafanyika haki yako. Anybody in Christ Jesus. Yeyote aliye ndani ya Kristo Yesu. The righteousness of God. Ile haki ya Mungu became your righteousness or becomes your righteousness when you believe in Christ. Inafanyika haki yako wakati tu unaamini ndani ya Kristo. Second Corinthians 5 wa Korinto wa pili sura ya 5 mstari wa 21 mstari so real iko halisi sana read, he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him basi ah. alimfanya asiyekuwa anajua dhambi kuwa mwenye dhambi kwa ajili yetu 
ili sisi tupate kuwa wenye haki mbele za Mungu katika yeye. Somebody say glory to God. Sema utukufu kwa Mungu. Somebody say I have. Sema niko na the righteousness of God. Niko na haki ya Mungu. Hey, hey. Number 5. Ya tano. We have in him. Ndani yake tuko na. We have hope for restoration. Tuko na tumaini la urejesho. Whatever you lost. Yachoto ulipoteza. When you come to Christ. Ukikuja kwa Kristo. Number 1 the glory. Na ya kwanza utukufu. That you lost. Kama ulipoteza. That glory. Wewe utukufu. Is restored. Unarejeshwa. I prophesy. Natabiri. Even the money that you lost. Hata pesa ulizopoteza. The land that you lost. Na shamba uliopoteza. The way that you lost will carry back if you believe so amen Peter looks at Jesus in uh, what do you call this Mark 10 Marko sura ya kumi. and by 28 he asked him a question Akamuliza suwali. we've left all tumeata vyote and followed you. Na tumekufuata. I said in the morning to follow also me to serve. Nilisema asubuhi kufuata inamaanisha kutumika. We've come to your boat. Tumeingia katika mashua yako. The boat of Christianity. Mashua ya Ukristo. The boat the boat of salvation. Mashua ya wokovu. The boat of righteousness. Mashua ya kuwa haki. The boat of justification. Mashua ya kuhesabiwa haki. The boat of sanctification. Mashua ya kutakaswa. Ah, what are we going to get? Tutapata nini? The next verse. Msari unaofuata. Jesus had said Yes, I, I say ambia. to you. Amina there is no one who has left a house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels. My sake and the gospels. That is the person of Christ and the gospel of Christ. For my sake and the gospels. Come on, the next verse. Who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time kuvu sinaambia wokovu ni ya future usiniambie wokovu ni ya hati mama kesho ambie mazao kuna kifurusi kipackage kifu, kuna kifurushi cha sai cha saizi hey, who shall not receive a hundred fold now in this time asilimia 100 wakati huu houses manyumba sema materials one more time shout the houses manyumba Brothers, Ndugu. sisters, Dada. mothers, Mama. children, Watoto. lands, na mashamba. <laughs> Imu wako utakuwa na shamba yako wewe. Amen. With the persecution, that is obvious. <laughs> Can you see now? That's why, Pana Kevin, as a believer, Kama don't try to please people. Usijaribu kupendeza watu. Please God. Pendeza mungu. This man is a daily farmer. Uyo with the best wangu, cows wangu, in the world. Na ngombe bora Serious, you wongo. Yeah, it's a supply of milk. Yeah, yeah. Aki with the drive the Brookside kuisha. This one. Very powerful. Now listen. Kuna mtu anazana pale pale aona ngombe wake aseme, "Woi." Dio yero menati. Yo ngombe unaona vile iko na mguu mrefu. Now, because just because he is born again. Kwa sababu tu ameokoka. So every child of God, the moment you get something past the favor, you just be persecuted. Kila wakati ukipata kitu ukipata tu mtoto wa Mungu utadhiakiwa. Utadhiakiwa. That is common. Hiyo ni kawaida. That is common. Hiyo ni kawaida. Yeah. Give up at the kama yule anambiwa hiyo ndio iko na moto. Give up at the mzuri kama yule anambiwa. Anaambia naweke ranga mkono na left. Nishaambiwa yote hiyo. Oh, hiyo mkono yake ya left hiyo. So, a mature believer will never have time to think about those nonsense. Mkristo amekomaa hana wakati wa kufikiria mambo kama hayo. Maana yapo. Ukijenga kanyumba goja usikie. Yesu alisema, we will receive now in this time houses good people like you say amen. Mashamba, magali, but with the persecutions. That is the uh, hiyo lazima lakini na kudhiakiwa pia nani upiwa kama pastor kipata kitu when a pastor drives a car that's when people remember kuna maskini kanisani wakati mchungaji anaendesha gari ndio watu wanakumbuka kuna maskini kanisani but lakini anasema in this time there is a package sasa katika wakati huu kuna kifurushi and in the age to come na wakati ujao eternal life uzima wa milele in the age to come katika ulimwengu ujao eternal life uzima wa milele so we 
when you get him you have gotten everything kwa hivyo ukimpata yeye umepata kila kitu now in this time sasa katika wakati huu and in the hands to come na katika ulimwengu ujao ay 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 kuokoka sio ku kutupa mbao kuokoka sio kutupa mbao ampia mwenzako kuokoka kuokoka sio kutupa mbao sio kutupa mbao kuokoka kuokoka ni kuokota mbao ni kuokota mbao kawaso kawaso misumari na misumari uh, generator generator na magari ya kubeba magari ya saya sema ndio in him we have all things tuko na vitu vyote The best university one of the best universities in Africa today Chuki. Covenant University of Bishop Oyedepo Chuo kikubwa bora ya Africa ya Bishop Oyedepo University Ni university ya kanisa Number 6 ya sita. So we are talking of hope of restoration Mimi kusu tumaini la urejesho so Peter was telling Jesus we have lost some things Petro alikuwa anamwambia Yesu tumepoteza vitu We cannot get them back Tutavipata aje tena He assured him You can't follow me Amwezi mkanifuata And be humiliated in life Na mdharauliwe maishani Because following Jesus, you become sober Ukifuata Yesu Whether in the business world you know be stupid you see kuna ile watu nakuta the name of workov lakini hata ukiangalia amechanganyikiwa kazini wengine wakifika saa 2 anafika saa 8 uh, 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 hiyo sio workov huo sio workov hii ni kaupumbabu kidogo mm-hmm. but ukiwa soba you will set an example utaweka mfano ah you will set Jesus said what? Let your light so shine before men. Yesu akasema wateni nuru yenu ikangae mbele za watu. Matthew 5. Mathayo sura ya 5. 14. You are the light of the world. Nyinyi ni nuru ya ulimwengu. You can't light a light and put under a, 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 a bucket. Hauwezi washa mshumaa na uweke chini ufunike. 16. Then he said. Kisha akasema. Matthew yeah 5:16. We read together. Let, Let your, your light, light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven hey it's something that can be seen ni kitu ambacho kinaweza onekana when you pre, when you are really full of the jesus we are talking about Ukiyo it is visible ambayo tuna tunamuongea ni kitu cha kuonekana it is visible inaonekana daniel 63 daniel sura ya 6 mstari wa 3 he did this thing alikuwa na hili kitu the bible says biblia inasema then the then this daniel sasa huyu daniel was distinguished in this distinguished himself above the governors alijiwe tofautisha na magavana why kwa nini he had an excellent spirit alikuwa na roho bora the holy spirit is spirit of excellence roho mtakatifu ni roho wa ubora the spirit of honor roho wa mpangilio nakatuka baya the king already began thinking of promoting him mfalme akaanza kufikiria jinsi ya kumpandisha cheo may you present jesus wacha umwakilishe yesu in staff room and am i now they will see jesus they will see jesus everybody in this house kila mtu mahali hapa i pray you are jesus will be seen yesu wako ataonekana joseph yusufu he is in a foreign land ako katika nchi ya kigeni actually why they worship the other the other thing Mali wanaabudu miungu. And the Bible says. Biblia inasema. In, in Genesis 41. Mwanzo wa 41. That age there. The way Joseph presented himself before King Pharaoh. Vile Yusufu alijibeba mbele ya mfalme Farao. Farao asked. Farao akauliza. Where can we find such a one as this? Basi tumpate wapi mtu kama huyu? A man in mm. whom is capital S the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. Mtu ambaye roho wa Mungu yuko ndani yake. So anybody with the Jesus. Mtu yote akona Yesu. People should admire you. Watu wanapaswa kukutamani. Daniel walimtafutia makosa mpaka waka create makosa. Daniel walimtafutia makosa wakakosa makosa wakamtengenezea makosa. Thank you my daughter. Clap for daughter one. Hey. Yo ni tang twister sasa. Hey. Walimtafutia makosa namna gani? Bible says they said no one at maybe let's say saa saba everybody should worship an idol wakasema kila mtu saa saba aabudu miungu because they knew daniel would not agree maana walijua danieli hawezi akakubali bwana sasa kwa fadhali wanitafutie makosa fadhali wanitafutie makosa 
lakini wakingoja hii akawinda wanipati wakingoja hii akawinda watanipata kama ni time nitafika the right time kwa job kama ni wakati nitafika wakati unaofaa kazini kama nikupanga vitu my boss will be proud of me kama nikupanga vitu boss wangu atakuwa present jesus mwakilishe yesu it is more than preaching i will tell you some actually some zaidi ya kuhubiri ni kakamega the other day nilikuwa naambia watu pale kakamega siku nyingine sasa kuambia watu njoo njoo kuwa mmoja wa kondoo njoo kuja na kabisa tunakaa kama kondoo Those days are over. Siku za kuambia watu wakuja waingie wawe mmoja wa kondoo hizo siku zilisha. Kondoo ayogi. I brush meno. Inakuja leti kazini. Mbozi akitana mkutano wa 7 unafika 12. Arabu nasema mbozi kuja wewe kondoo. Nasema no. We are living at we need to present Jesus. Tunahitaji kumwakilisha Yesu. Joseph did not preach to Pharaoh. Yusufu hakumhubiria farao. But the way I Lakini vile, was, vile alijibeba. Uh, Daniel did not preach to the king. Danieli hakumhubiria mfalme. But the way God himself lakini jinsi alivyojibeba that is where the song came from gai wa daniel ne wengai wa ma it's the king who said so not daniel ni mfalme alisema hayo maneno it is the king who said ni mfalme alisema kwamba the god of daniel is the right god kwamba mungu wa daniel ndiye mungu wa kweli si tuposi hapa tu tuombe ombi moja Say my father. Sema baba yangu. Help me. Nisaidie to present the light of Christ. Wakilisha nuru ya Kristo. Intelligently. Kwa njia nzuri. Say one more time Lord. Sema bwana. I pray. Naomba. Help me. Nisaidie to present the light of Christ. Nuru ya Kristo. Intelligently. Kwa njia ipasavyo. Say Lord my father. Baba yangu. Help me. Nisaidie to present Christ. Christ. Christo. To my world. Kwa ulimwengu wangu. Intelligently. Kwa njia ipasavyo. Receive that glory. Okay, your name. Let our prayer be answered. 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 In the name of Jesus, I declare grace to present the cross in a wise way. Nema. Ya ku present Jesus. In a wise way. I'm sorry to say. Samahani kusema. Kuna place ukienda tu sema I am born again. Hii inakufata inakufanya unakuwa disqualified. Kuna mahali ukienda useme nimeokoka utatolewa. Why? Kwa nini? It's because ni kwa sababu wenye wametangulia. Walio tangulia. Honestly. Kwa kweli. I'm teaching you wisdom. Na kufunza hekima. Hata uziendo kizani hao nimeokoka. You out the mwanga unga. Because mwenye alikuwa hapo maana aliyetangulia mimi alikuwa anaitwa Deborah. Pengine alikuwa anaitwa Deborah. Masi. Masi. So ani ni Mkristo. Ni Mkristo. Lakini ile vitu alifanya. Lakini mambo aliyotenda. Sasa ukikuja na wewe in the name of umeokoka utafutwa. Sasa ukikuja na wewe useme umeokoka utafutwa kazi. Wacha waone kwanza. Wacha waone kwanza. Wacha waone. Wacha waone kwanza. Am I talking sense? Honestly. Kwa kweli. If you think oh they will because I'm sorry to say si wewe wenye umetangulia. Si wewe ni walio tangulia. Yeah. This is the Musa ndiye ameiba. Hizi siku unasikia Musa ndiye ameiba watu. Yaani una expect Moses awe ni mtu mzuri, si ni kweli? Unatarajia Musa ni mtu mzuri. Mtu ameokoka. Sasa unataka uniambia utatisha watu na Paul. My name is Paul Mwaniki. Tasema jina langu ni Paul Mwaniki. Na I'm trying to show you this. Najaribu kuonyesha hivi. Watu walichafua ulendi. Watu walishachafua. Sasa in other ones. Kwa njia nyingine. Hata usitaki hata wajue kama hata umeokoka ni. Usitaki wajue kama umeokoka. Wacha wakupime. Sengine anaacha anaacha pesa pale. Wakati mwingine anaacha pesa, unamwokotea unampelekea. Unamchukulia unampelekea. Unatestiwa. Unajaribiwa. Because maybe mwenye alitangulia hapa alikuwa anaitwa Peter. Maana aliyetangulia alikuwa anaitwa Petro. Alikuwa na mifuko mpaka mpaka kwa socks. Hata huko kulikuwa na mifuko. Nikuchukua tu na kuweka. 
So now that's why Jesus said be wise as serpents. Ndio maana Yesu alisema kweni wenye hekima kama nyoka. Ushawejiuliza hiyo point? Ushawejiuliza huo msafi Matthew 10:16 What did he mean? Alimaanisha nini? Be wise. Kweni wenye hekima kama nyoka. Let me tell you one of the scope the wisdom of snakes. Wacha nikwambie kitu moja inaitwa hekima ya nyoka. A snake can be with you for years. Nyoka anaweza kaa nawe miaka. And you will never know. Na hautawahi jua. Whereas if you are real enemy. Ilhali ni adui wako mkuu. You know why? Wajua kwa nini? When a snake eat for instance a, a prey. Nyoka akikula mawindo. No evidence. Hakuna kitu cha kuonesha. Simba utapata mifupa kichwa iko hapo. Simba utapata amebakishia mifupa kichwa iko pale. Watu wameachia mafisi. Migui iko pale, watu imeachiwa mafisi. When a snake hit. Nyoka akikula mawindo. No evidence. Hakuna kitu ya kuonesha. So maybe you have 10 chicken. Pengine uko na kuku kumi. Nakaa unaona ni saba. Unakaa unaona ni wamepungua ni saba. What happened? Ni nini inaendelea? Kikaka ifaranga di inne. <laughs> muda mdogo faranga ni 4 unasema acha tukanunue poison sijui nini acha tukatafute dawa andu ya kondani adui yuko ndani ana meza ana meza mbili anaanda ingest anakaa mahali pamoja tembee wiki mbili anasiaga chakula polepole sikia njaa tena yop sikia njaa tena ana meza it's called wisdom ya nyoka inaitwa hekima ya nyoka so intelligent a snake when it slithers here you not utasikia Yet is an animal for instance the black mamba the puff anders can kill you within minutes. Nyoka kama Yet chatu, akipita hapa hautasikia. Anaweza kuwa kwa dakika tatu lakini akipita hapa huwezi kusikia. Sasa mwenzako hii kelele mingi punguza. Mwambie mwenzako hii kelele mingi punguza. Mimi nene nene. Mimi nene nene. Mimi nene. No. Hapana. Ambie mwenzako cheza chini. Cheza chini. Wacha waanze kuuliza anaendanga chachu wapi? Wacha waanze kujiuliza anaenda kanisa wake. Je, mchungaji wake ni nani? Au yeye ni niokoka? Ini saa ngapi? Revival imeanza. Uko na bwana, you are married. Umeolewa. Amekwambia nipikie kachai hapo mama Toyi. Nikwambia nitengenezee kachai hapo. Hizi ni saa ngapi naniambia nipike chai wewe? Sasa hizi ni saa ngapi unasema nipike? Uji reverend kwa kama sababu sasa hii. Uji reverend anahubiri. Huyo jamaa ki atanichukia. Huyo <laughs> mtu atachukia reverend bure. Imagine mu innocent kama mimi. But a wise wife. Lakini mke mwenye busara. Ataacha mzee ame kila kitu kosa. Ndoma simeiba. Siwaze wanapendaga ndoma. Ndoma simeiba. Ataacha mzee kila kitu kiko sawa. <laughs> Miogo hii iko lid. <laughs> Na miogo inachukua muda kuiva. Yaani kuna vile unaweza play and uh, wisdom on be seen kuna vile unaweza kaa na hekima ionekane maana mwishowe you want to win you are aiming after winning that man also to Christ lengo lako ni kuleta huyu mtu kwa Kristo eventually mwishowe you will say yes to Jesus atasema ndio kwa Yesu but let me tell you wacha nikwambie there is how you can present yourself madam Kinya kuna vile unaweza jibeba madam Kinya hata achukie zaidi achukie Yesu zaidi wisdom hekima that you and say my father kuza kichwa chako sema baba yangu and it out toa every junk every impurity kila kitu kichafu i like man the way you are praying ni kama maishika kaishikia nyoki junk hapa anything that is not right kila kitu ambacho hakifai many doors have been closed because of lack of wisdom milango mingi imefungwa kwa sababu ya kukosa hekima At times I go please I don't even know when people know I'm born again. Wakati mwingine naenda mahali na sitaki hata watu wajue kama nimeokuwa. Let me tell you because of the glory upon me. Lakini kwa sababu ya utukufu ulioko juu yangu. You just sense. Watahisi tu. My dear wife yesterday we were in Meru town. Jana tulikuwa mji wa Meru. As we entered the mall there. Nikaingia mall pale. Just entered. Nikaingia. There was a young lady somewhere. Actually. Kulikuwa na binti mahali. Ah, mopping and doing some cleaning. Alikuwa na deki pale na kukosha. Nikapita. Just in a jacket and uh, whatever trouser jean mevaa jacket na trouser ya jeans. Ndaka niambia can I ask you are you a pastor? Anambia nikuulize je wewe ni mchungaji? Mwangalie unaambia kwa nini? Nimeharibu sura kwa nini? Kaka anambia no. Yeah. There's something about it. Sema kuna kitu kuhusu. Ndio msao don't go shouting. 
Let the presence and the wisdom ionyeshe tabia. Because saa hii watu wanatafuta tabia za Mkristo. Sio Mkristo, ni Mkristo ako na tabia. Amen. Clap your hands. Piga makofi. Nimeongea vitu za ngumu sana. God apply them, you will be safe. Your husband will love you more. Mume wako atakupenda zaidi. Your boss will respect you more. Bosi wako atakuheshimu zaidi. Wisdom. Dhirisha hekima. Wacha tafute makosa mpaka akose. Hata kisikia kukufuta, anashangaa nitamfutia nini surely. Wacha mpaka anza kuuliza, unaendaka church wapi? Wewe sio pastor? Nini? Just because of how wise you are conducting us. But tumejifungia milango mingi in the name of Tunapayuka tu. Be wise as serpents. Kweni wenye hekima kama nyoka. Kwa nini Yesu akusema be wise as goats? Kwa nini Yesu akusema mkuwe na hekima kama mkuwe? Bebe, bebe, bebe. Ukiza kujua ba kuna senge. Na hiyo ndiyo wanaitanga mpaka fisi. Fisi anakuja na kula mbuzi tu. Bebe, bebe, bebe. Number six. Exemption from shame. Okay? Ya sita kwe kutokana na hiyo. No shame in Jesus name. Hakuna hibu kwa jina la Yesu. Romans 9.33. Warumi 9.33. Bible says everyone that believes in Christ will not be ashamed. Bible says everyone that believes in Christ will not be ashamed. The same Romans 10.11. Warumi 10.11. 10.11. It says. Yes. For the scripture says whoever believes on him. Somebody say. In him. In him. Aha. Whoever believes on him will not be put in. To shame, say amen to that. Mandiko ya nasema yoyote ya muamini ya hata ibika. No shame in your life. Hakuna ibu kwa maisha yako. We gave a classic example. Tulipiana mfano mzuri. Of where Jesus practically fought shame. Mali Yesu alipigana na ibu. We are in our ending. Wako katika arusi. And the refreshment of the day has just finished. Kitu cha kuburudisha watu kimeisha. Shame was to cover the bridegroom and the bride and the in-laws. Aibu ilikuwa ipate bwana harusi na bi harusi na familia zao. The committee members they were waiting. Mlipeleka pesa wapi? Wana committee walikuwa wanangoja kuuza. So shame was to be there. Aibu ilikuwa ionekane pale. John 2 the Bible says. Yohana sura ya 2 Biblia inasema. And Jesus. Na Yesu. Told them. Akawaambia. Just put water in some drums here. Wekeni maji katika galoni. And within a short time, na kwa muda mfupi, the people began saying, "Wow, this wine is better than the previous one." Watu akanza kusema hii divai ni mzuri kuliko ile ya kwanza. He covered the shame. Alifunika aibu. Lift up your hand and say, "My father." Unao mkono sema baba yangu. Trace of shame. Kila chembe chembe ya aibu. Pursuing me. Ambaye nafunifuata. Secretly. Kwa siri. Or publicly. Ama kwa wazi. Deliver me from that shame. Nikombue kutokana na. No shame in the name of Jesus. Kuna aibu kwa jina la Yesu. Clap your hands out, Amen. Viga makofi useme amina. Number seven. Ya saba. In Him. Nani ya healed? Tumepona. We are done what? Healed. I did a classic demonstration here. By his stripes. Kupitia mapigo yake. Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah 53:5. We are healed. Tumepona. Exodus 15:26. Kutoka 15:26. He is the one that heals us. Yeye ambaye anatuponya. At ten that age. Matendo ya mitume 10:38. He went everywhere healing. Alienda kila mahali akiponya. He did the main service today. Ulisikia katika ibada yetu leo. Woman came to this church. Mwanamke alikuja katika kanisa hili. A very serious medical report. Ripoti mbaya sana ya kidaktari. A, a, a big O in her heart. Shimo kubwa katika moyo wake. Fluid all over the heart. Na maji maji mezunguka moyo wake. And the lunging heart. Na moyo mbao unafura. We prayed. Tukaomba. This Jesus. Huyu yes. Fooled the woman. Haka mponya yuna. Went to Nairobi. Haka enda Nairobi. Kenyata hospital. Hospital ya Kenyata. Met in a doctor gekonyo. Haka kutana na doktari gekonyo. They examined everything. Waka pima kila kitu. To their surprise. Kwa mshangao wao. They said your heart is like that one of a baby. Wakasema moyo wako ni kama ule wa mtoto. And the doctor that had seen that was a powerful Indian doctor. Na daktari aliyekuwa ameona hivyo ni daktari mzuri sana wa Kiindi. I it has matter your condition. Haijalishi hali yako. You have to say in him. Wakasema ndani yake. I am healed. Nimepona. Receive your miracle in him now. Kwa mujiza wako uponyaji sasa. Ah. You had the testimony of Pastor Dan? Ulisikia ushuhuda wa Pastor Dan? Mama Kevin. Mama Kevin. Thank you, sir. To God be the glory. Number eight. In Him, we enjoy rewards of service. It is never the 
whatever in vain to be in Christ. Sio bure kuwa ndani ya Kristo. Hebrews 10:5. Do not cast away your confidence in him. Msitupe ujasiri wenu ndani yake. It has got great rewards. Maana iko na thawabu kuu. Maya la gadaya. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Waebrania 11 mstari wa 6. He that comes to him. Yeyote ambaye anakuja kwake. Must believe he is. Lazima aamini yeye ni. And he is the rewarder. Na ndiye anayepeana thawabu. Tell the diligent to seek him. Kwa wale ambao wanamtafuta kwa kweli. Lele bana karatusu badarenda. Oh, thank you Holy Ghost. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. Maya rarara bayada. Second Chronicles Mambo ya nyakati wa 2:15:7. Second Chronicles 15:7. Mambo ya nyakati wa 2:15:7. As for you, kwako wewe, be strong. Kuwa imara. And not let your hands be weak. Usiwache mikono yako iwe midhaifu. Because your work shall be rewarded. Maana kazi yako itakuwa na thawabu. Ah, sema kazi yangu iko na malipo. Sema kazi yangu iko na malipo. Kazi yako iko na malipo. Kazi yangu iko na malipo. So yes. Sema ndio. Kala baganda la manata. Thank you Holy Ghost. Thank you Holy Ghost. Thank you Holy Ghost. Thank you Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 15:8. Wakorinthi wa kwanza 15:58. Our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Kazi yetu katika Bwana sio bure. Number 9. Ya 9. In him. Ndani yake. We are more than conquerors. Tu zaidi ya washindi. Romans 8:37. Warumi 8:37. In him. Ndani yake. We are more than conquerors. Tu zaidi ya washindi. Can we read that one quickly? Yet in all these things We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Basi katika mambo haya yote sisi tu zaidi ya washindi kupitia yule aliyetupenda. Clap your hands. Piga makofi. You are a conqueror in Christ. Wewe ni mshindi ndani ya Kristo. Second Corinthians 2:14. Wa Korintho wa 2 sura ya 2 mstari wa 14. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ please everybody read that verse now thanks be to god who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place <laughs> now listen ukiwa umembeba hata ukipitia mahali watu watasense amen sasa hiyo ndio mndana alisense njana <laughs> Somebody said diffuses. You remember ile kitu eh kwa mbaro je diffusion. Yeah. Kama panya amekufia kwa nyumba, you don't need uh, an angel to tell you. Wacha kuanze kuwaka. Eh? Ile hewa ianze kutembea. Njua ikichacha diffusion inaanza kuwa more fire. Jua ikiwaka harufu mbaya itakuwa mingi zaidi. Now listen. Sikiza. Ukiwa na Yesu. Ukiwa na Yesu. Kuna ka fragrance. Kuna manukato. That G- oh, we read about for instance the gospels. Jesus was so powerful yes, and ingia nyumba kama yeye anaambia watu wanafunzi msiambie watu niko we within a short time wanaanza kubomboa mabati kumejaa why because now he was he, the real thing ai maana yeye ndiye kitu halisi you just wait and see ngoje uone There's something God is doing us. Kuna kitu Mungu anafanya ndani yetu. You see people pressing to enter here. Utaona watu wakisukumana kuingia hapa. This this house soon this prayer house. Hii nyumba ya maombi hii will expand. Tutaipanua. It's a prophecy. Write it down. Ni unabii andike. To the glory of God. Kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Thank you Holy Spirit. Asante Roho Mtakatifu. Number 10. Ya 10. He is him. Ndani yake. Grace and stagnation is broken. Kucheleweshwa na kukwama kumevunjwa. In him. Ndani yake. Stagnation. Kukwama. And the grace. Na kucheleweshwa. Are broken. Zimevunjwa. In John 5. Yohana sura ya 5. Let's read that one quickly. Let's read. Verse 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 5. Mstari wa 5. It is a very familiar scripture. Everybody will read. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity for that eight years. Continue. When Jesus saw him lying there and they knew that he had already be, been in that condition a long time, he said to him, "Do you want to be made well?" The man said. The sick man answered, "Sir, uh huh. I have no man." to put me to the pool when the water is tired up 
But when I am coming, another steps down. You see, he is the answer to the competitions of life. You see? Hii mashindano mingi bwana. Pata Yesu hakuna mashindano utapita hata wale wanometangulia. Amen. So, yeah, jamaa akamwambia Yesu hapa bwana kuna competition. There is too much injustice. Akamwambia kuna mashindano mengi hapa. Wengine wanakuja na watu wao wanawarusha kwa maji. Mimi kitambo nijikokote. Mwingine ameingia na amepona na hiyo season imeisha. But Jesus. Lakini Yesu. What, okay, what this man did know? Kile huyu mtu hakujua. The one standing right before him. Aliyekuwa amesimama mbele zake. Was the terminator of delays. Alikuwa mkomeshaji wa kucherewesha na kukwama. He thought, ooh, he, he thought still a man will come to throw him there. Alikuwa anafikiria mtu atakuja amrushe pale. He didn't know that in the presence of Jesus. Hapo anajua katika uwepo wa Yesu. Nation is broken. Kukwama kumevunjwa. Some guys caught a woman in uh, in Andotari. Watu fulani wakapata mwanamke katika washirati. Wakampeleka kwa Yesu. Wakampeleka kwa Yesu. Wakampeleka wapi? Yes. They didn't even they know. Hawakujua. In him. Ndani yake. There is no condemnation. Hakuna kuhukumiwa. Aki walistuka. Walistuka. Because they they had condemned her. Maana walikuwa wamemhukumu. Na wamempeleka wapi? akuwa ndume <laughs> Sala mama Joyce <laughs> Wakampeleka katika Yesu Waka... in his presence katika uwepo wake in his presence katika uwepo wake in his presence katika uwepo see, wake What does that mean? That is now physical proof of what is doing in our lives. Hiyo ni kudhibitisha kile ameifanya katika maisha yetu. Romans 8:1. Warumi 8 mstari wa kwanza. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Basi sasa hakuna hukumu kwa wale walio ndani ya Kristo. Hiyo ka scripture me learn to memorize. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Basi sasa hakuna hukumu kwa wale walio ndani ya Kristo. They were surprised. So yeah, this man is Huyu in his mtu, presence. Kat, ako katika uwepo wake. Delay and to bro, be broken. Kucheleweshwa lazima kungevunjika. Can I speak to somebody here? Je, naweza nenea mtu mahali hapa? You are tired of what is happening. Umechoka na kile ambacho kinatendeka. You are tired of what is, is is happening around you. Umechoka na kile kinatendeka. Thank you tonight. Nasimama hapo. I to clear. Natangaza. Delays are breaking. Kucheleweshwa kwa. Delays are breaking. Kucheleweshwa kwa. Everybody this house. Kila mtu mahali hapa. You shall not be delayed. Hautacheleweshwa. Everybody tuning online. Kila mtu unafuata kwa. You will not be delayed. Hautacheleweshwa. I prophesy. Natabii. In the name of Jesus. No delay in becoming what you are born to be. In the name of Jesus, I declare tonight the spirit of stagnation is breaking right now. As we end this revival, this revival meeting, actually revival is starting. Revival is not ending. But revival is starting. But as we climax, these five days I and the Lord go and the terror of the church every delay and the stagnation in their careers in their finances in their academic life every delay is breaking right now I stretch the hand of God and I declare delays are breaking stagnation is breaking if you believe shout yes I have come with the good news ni kutabilie ya kwamba buwana yesu anasema huko kucheleweswa kuna fika mwisho in the name of the Lord I prophesy no more delay somebody say yes no more delay the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 2 and the verses 22 22 there was a proverb a proverb of delay 
in the land but a man of God arose and he said that says the Lord in me only being translation that says the Lord there shall no more be delays go down to verse 24 somebody shall refire I want to touch somebody more be delays are a breaking verse 25 can they go with me quickly that, that says the Lord if I say it it will happen there will be no more delays there will be no more delays and I stand here tonight I prophesy no more delays in this church no more delays in your family somebody in this house you will experience anointing for speed somebody if you can do like this Karika Manata when the sprinting guys when the Omanyara when Omanyara is about to do the, uh, the hundred meter dash in other words he is warming up he is warming up and within a short time a hundred meters will be sorted within nine seconds I came to prophesy grace for speed in the name of the Lord and every visitor here every friend of this family we are here to declare no more delays no more stagnation no more delays I prophesy you cannot be delayed I am tired of McDiamond somebody say I am tired of McDiamond Shari Jesus arise Shari Jesus arise Shari Jesus arise and let my enemies be scattered say Jesus arise and let my enemies be scattered no more delay no more delay no more delay go to two people give them my fight and tell them no more delay go to another one give him my fight and tell him in him I am exempted from delays in him I am exempted from confusion go to another neighbor tell that neighbor in him I am exempted from shame in him I have been exempted from sorrow because his blessings does not end the sorrow go to another neighbor and tell that neighbor my story it is changing my story it is changing go to another neighbor and tell that neighbor I am rising and no witch doctor will pin me down go to another one and tell that neighbor in him I will enjoy restoration in him I have been justified in him I have been sanctified in him I have the righteousness of God in him I am victorious in him I am a winner in him I am more than a conqueror in him I am blessed going in and coming out in him I am redeemed shout I am redeemed shout I am redeemed shout I am 
Somebody say, I am so redeemed that in the witchcraft of my ancestors has forgotten my address. I am so redeemed that the curses of my people have lost my contacts. I am so redeemed in the cross that the darkness of my village cannot mess me. I am so redeemed in the Christ that there is no weapon special against me that will prosper. I am so redeemed that I am going up. I am going up. I am going up. Somebody shout it in I am so redeemed that I can never go down. I am so redeemed that I cannot be cast. I am so redeemed that there is no oppression will stop me from rising. I am so redeemed. Jesus, I've been redeemed. Somebody throw your hands in the hair and say, I am redeemed. I am redeemed. In him we have redemption. We have redemption. We have deliverance. We have salvation. We have been forgiven. In him we have been brought near to him. Everybody lift up your hearts. You will be victorious. You know you are a devil. You are a more than a conqueror. In him. Do you know why? 
There will be a distinction between you and you are, and you are people who don't know Jesus. It is because in him you have been redeemed. We have to close. But I want to leave here knowing. You are so redeemed. That what makes your people average and below average people will not get you. You will hit higher levels. Are you hearing what I'm saying? My dear ones, you got to believe in what Christ did. If you don't want to believe a life of Desperation and oppression. Kama hauta ishi maisha ya kukandamizo na ukatizo tama. You God, you have. Lazima. To believe. Lazima wamini. In the finished work of Christ on the cross. Wamini katika kazi ya msalaba alio maliza. It's not about the feelings. Sio mambo na kuhisi. It's a high time to believe. Wakati umefika wa kuwamini. And not just believe. Na sio kuwamini tu. Also confess. Bali pia kukiri. I'm the head, not the tail. Mimi ni kichwa wala simkia. I am above, not beneath. Niko juu wala siko chini. I am healed, I'm not sick. Mimi ni mepona wala siko mgonjwa. Maybe at the moment, mwiri na uma, lakini you confess what you expect. Pengine wakati uwa mwili na uma, lakini unakiri kila mbacho unatarajia. We confess our expectations. Huwa tunakiri matarajio yetu. Not our circumstances. Not our feelings. We speak what we expect and what is the truth. Sister Wanda. Now, why does you not feel it well? Pengine sisiki vizuri. Now, that does not neutralize. Hiyo haimalizi nguvu. Isaiah chapter three verse five. Isaiah msi na tatu msaru watano. By his stripes. Upiti ya mapigo ya. You are healed. Mimi ni mepona. Don't let the feeling cause you to doubt that verse. Ziku sababisha utie shaka na kuhu mstari. Hapana. You are on the way to the hospital. Unaeleke hospitalini. But you are confessing. Lakini unakiri. I'm healed. Nimepona. I'm healed. Nimepona. I believe. Na amini. You are sorrowing in medicine. Una. Meza mandawa. Una meza madawa. But you are still confessing. Lakini bado unakiri. As you keep on confessing. Ukiendelea kukiri. And believing. Na kuamini. What you are confessing. Hile unakiri. Where you are confessing. What you are believing, you will receive. Joel, yes. In Joel 3.10 Why did he say Let the weak say I am strong It is there Actually Prior to that you read your own time The people are so weak But there is a, a warrior So The man of God spoke to the people if you are plowshares into swords, ila vitu ya kulima na mashamba itonge kuwe visu. Chonga hizo vitu za kulima mashamba ziwe visu. And you are pruning hooks. Na vitu vya ku prune. How many know pruning? You know those things. Kana kaka kitu kana kai vi. Inyoroshi kuwe mkuki. Inyoroshi kuwe mkuki. Then ana sema. Kisha ana sema. Read the week now. Watcha wadai fusasa. Let them confess. Watcha wakiri. Them say we are strong. 
Waseme tuko na nguvu. Because you can't win a battle if you are weak. Maana uwezi shinda vita kama uko mdhaifu. Let the weak say. Wacha wadhaifu waseme. I'm strong. Niko na nguvu. Let the believer say. Wacha waumini waseme. I am redeemed. Nimekombolewa. Ah. I am forgiven. Nimesamehewa. Hizo ndoto za babu zako ambazo zinakusumbua kuota na manyoka, maburukenge na watu wa kirara na wewe. Let me tell you they will offend away. Hizo ndoto mbaya. They will offend away. Zitafutiliwa mbali. Mark 9:23. Marko sura ya 9 mstari wa 23. Jesus told the man. Yesu akamwambia yule mtu. If you can believe. Iwapo utaamini. If is a condition. Iwapo ni hali. You can decide not to. Unaweza amua usiamini. If you can believe. Lakini iwapo utaamini. All things are possible. Mambo yote yanawezekana. To him. Kwa yule who believes. Aaminie. Any miracle you desired here. Kile muujiza unaotamani hapa. May it be a healing miracle. As I'm speaking right now. Naponena sasa hivi. Jesus is laying hands on people. Yesu anaekelea watu mikono. Financial miracle. Miujiza ya kifedha. I announced by the month of, of July. Tangaza ifikapo mwezi wa 7. You'll be among the ones that will line up to testify. Utakuwa mmoja wale ambao watatoa ushuhuda. I declare your business will yield results. Tangaza biashara yako itakuwa na mapato. Your business will stand out. Familia yako itakuwa na mapato. Biashara wote ambao wako hapa. Wana biashara wote wako Biashara mnainuka. Naomba mnainuka. Biashara zenu zinashika. Amen. Mungu anawainua. Yes. Kila mmoja ambao unanisikiza hapa. Yes. Hautabaki peke peke hapa. Amen. Anybody came here with a condition, sickness? Yeyote alikuja hapa na hali fulani ya ugonjwa. Marito issue. Mambo ya kindoa. Career issue. Mambo ya kitaaluma. I guarantee you in the name of the risen Christ. Na kuhakikishia kwa jina la Kristo aliyefufuka. You are going back better. Unarejea ukiwa bora. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Keep Jesus praying.